Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, something interesting that you know we have to think about when uh, Windows 10 gets its last uh, security update next week. Um, we know that we're not going to have bug fixing updates anymore. The contract of you going into extended support for Windows 10 is and stipulates that this is only security updates for the next year. So if you have enrolled into the extended support, you are getting only security updates. As we all know, this extended support of security updates kind of has a risk. We all talk about it, you know, the, how Windows updates sometimes can mess up things. The contract does not, you know, give Microsoft any mandatory um, way of fixing updates. It doesn't tell Microsoft, you know, you have to fix bugs if your Windows updates for security created something bad. Now, I would um, think that Microsoft will, uh, of course, fix any bugs that would be major. But uh, it's something that um, is interesting to think about, um, you know, that possibility that, you know, if an update breaks, you'll have to have a fix and they don't issue fixes anymore. What will happen? Um, and also, it kind of gives us an idea of, well, could it be better to use zero patch? Is zero patch more secure? Technically, it probably should be more secure because... It doesn't patch everything. For example, zero patch will not fix everything that Windows Update Security will fix. There are some uh, security flaws that are a very low level that zero patch will not address. The zero patch really addresses what's very important to fix. What isn't because it's very difficult to exploit or needs to access your PC that will often not be fixed by zero patch. They don't fix everything. So the idea is maybe that also means that it could be more secure in a way to use zero patch than to use Windows updates itself because we know Microsoft is messing up all the time. But it's an interesting question about the future, the next year of updates. And um, hopefully, the updates won't mess up something in Windows 10. Uh, but in the last year, there were a few things that were messed up in Windows 10 because of Windows updates. So uh, that will definitely be something interesting to look at in the months ahead as we go into extended support for Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.